Hey guys, this is Ashley with Ashley Marie Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do, which is reviewing a digital planner. So just recently I got a new iPad Air and I got a first generation Apple Pencil and I have been obsessed with learning how to digital plan ever since. And so I was going to kind of walk you guys through what I've been doing with my 2022 vertical and I'm going to compare that to the new 2023 vertical. So I'm super excited to jump in and share this with you guys. And I also wanted to make kind of like a beginner's digital planning video because I was super overwhelmed at first and I just jumped in and I'm so glad I did. So I'm going to go over just a few things real quick. So after you receive your email um, with your or um, when you purchase it and you're, you're able to download it, you're going to want to try and save it to either like your iPad or your computer or um like a Dropbox of some kind. So I saved mine to a Dropbox and then I'm going to be using um, GoodNotes. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys. This is what it looks like when I come in here. I did make a little notebook for myself at church because I do like to doodle. <laughs> then this is the 2022 weekly horizontal. So I'm going to be comparing that with the 2023 weekly horizontal. And if I have time, I will jump in and show you guys what I started to do in the 2023 vertical weekly. So I'm just going to do a side-by-side -side comparison just real quick um, so that way you guys are able to get the information that you need and don't have to be here too, too long. So we're going to click on this. First thing I want to talk about is the cover, the back inside cover. So this is your front cover. This would be the back of your front cover. So this is what all of them look like this year. What's really cool, or this is, yes, this is what all of them look like in 2022, but in 2023, they're all going to have different back covers depending on the kind of front cover that you got so let me show you just real quick um so of course when you do digital files you get access to all of the covers but when you have a physical planner you have to pick which cover you want right so let's say you pick this one this is my one of my favorites um if you just swipe over you'll see that that is what that is what this would look like here so i just thought that that was that that's kind of cool so i can show you a couple other ones just real quick um the chevron so if you got the chevron, this would be what's in the inside there. Oh, this watercolor one, this one is my absolute favorite. So cute. Oh, this one. That one doesn't have an inside cover, that's weird. That's okay. Um, and then, yeah, so we're gonna go back over to GoodNotes now and we're gonna just gonna start comparing. So. Overall, like I said, it's just gotten a facelift on pretty much every single page. So um, depending on what kind of cover you get, this will look a little bit different maybe, but this just has like a bold 2023. Uh, just looks a little bit different than 2022, but the same kind of information, right? So we're gonna flip over once. Um, so you've got your information about Moxie Life, all the legal stuff to it. <laughs> and you've got a nice message from Sierra here, which is similar to this. It's just that this has gotten a little bit of a facelift. So it talks about the different ways to connect, share, and find inspiration. So there's Moxie Live Club, Moxie, the email that you can um, use to reach them, their YouTube, their Instagram, and their Facebook, and then all the other fun stuff at the bottom. And then a letter from Sierra, which is um, just a little bit different um, now that they've been in, in um, business for a couple of years now. So that's a nice letter you should read through. And then this is a little bit different. So this year they have changed the color palettes, which I think is awesome. Um, if you guys have not already heard, they are going to be introducing their own Moxie markers. And so um, they try to get those colors as close to humanly possible, but um, they had to change the hues just a little bit. So this is more of like a darker color. And then these are more of like your muted colors. And then this is a, is a table of content of where you can find everything um, and so this is really similar to last year, but this is added this year, the note paper, te note paper templates. And I cannot wait to show you guys that closer to the end. But if we're looking at 2022, this is what it looked like. So it just had your table of contents, had your color palette that in my opinion kind of went in a weird way. I didn't really like that it went like, I just, I like it to go in order. <laughs> and this kind of went backwards. So not that it's a big deal, but just really quickly, I wanted to show you how to add color palettes to, um, your presets so if you wanted to be able to go back through and use like a line or something and you want it to match like you're using you know zebra mild liners or moxie markers you can make your own here so you're gonna go to you can click any color that this is and you're gonna go to 
Um, so we already hit customs. It's usually on presets. So these are mine. I've already done them. So we're going to hit, you, go, you would hit custom and then you would just kind of strike through here. Pull up my keyboard right here and I would delete that. And then I'm going to look right here. So D, D, B, three, three, six. And then I would hit add preset. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. Um, but I'm going to hide my keyboard and I'm going to put this away. But I'll show you my presets real quick. So this is my bolder colors. These are my bolder colors. And then these go into my muted tones. So that's that. So we're going to keep moving right along. I'm going to come back and show you the note paper templates, but this is a really cool feature. Oops, I did it again. So you want to make sure that you click this, which means that your pen isn't going to strike through or make any marks like it just did, but I'm just going to hit undo. And then I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to flip to the next page, which is very similar to last year. It just has a nice, pretty facelift. So this is what last year's looked like. Um, again, I think it's really important that you read through this each and every year, even if you're on your, you know, however many is year with Club Moxie, I still think it's a good idea to go ahead and read through this so that you are well, um, now, uh, you know, you're knowledgeable, it's fresh in your mind and you're ready to set your goals. So it talks about, um, how to use a compass assessment, how to set intentions, how to look at your annual goals and vision how to do your monthly goals and weekly actions, and then your monthly reflections and quarterly views. So this is just a really good area for you guys to look into. Again, this is the 2022 version here, um, but this is 2023, and it just walks you through everything else. Um, and then we're gonna flip it again. So this is the compass assessment and the life. Life compass, very similar to last, last year's. It just looks a little bit different. So that's exciting. And then now we're gonna go into the assessment scoring. So this is where you go through and you'll read the directions here on how to do it. Uh, but you'll basically give this a number, you'll follow the math. Uh, so you'll, on a scale of one to 10 for how well each statement applies to you. One, it doesn't apply or 10, it strongly applies. Then you'll um, add it up to here, or you'll add it up and divide it by eight and then that'll be your personal score. So, and then you'll go through and you will um, mark that on your this is your beginning assessment. All right, um, so nothing really changed here other than um, the colors. So if you look and see, the colors are just slightly different and, and the wording is a little bit bolder. So that's about it. Then you're gonna move into your t intentions and setting your goals. It talks about how to commit goal, committing to your goals, review your goals and removing goals. And then it has a space here for your word of 2023, which I actually really like that addition. So this is what last year's looked like, just a little bit different. Um, so I think that this was a nice change. Um, and then we're going to go into just more about writing your goals, the different types of goals. Again, very similar to last year, just drawn out differently. You have the difference between your annual goals, monthly goals, and weekly actions. And then questions to ask yourself, what were your wins, what worked, what didn't work, what lessons did I learn, and what adjustments need to do I need to make going forward? Again, very similar to last year, just different. I actually really like this upgrade. I just think it looks so much better than the colors here. And last year, honestly, I didn't think anything of it, but now that I see this facelift, it looks so good. It looks so good. So the next page is just going to be like last year, where um, these are things to consider in each area of life when you're writing your goals. This is just um, an area for you to mind map ideas, dreams, goals, anything like that. So you can use this for whatever. In my physical planner, I usually use post-its and would make one for personal and I'd make one for fun and recreation and all that good stuff. So, and then I, I would leave those post-its in there. And then when you flip this over, you have your annual goals. Um, so the difference between last year's annual goals and this year's annual goals, this is a huge win in my opinion is the dot grids. I love the dot grids compared to the lines. It just felt like it took up, like I didn't need that much room to write and this just allows you to be kind of creative in here, which is especially nice when you're digitally planning. So we're gonna move right over. So these are your first four goals. These are your last four goals. Then it goes into your vision board, which again is the same as 2023. And then this just talks about some goal setting quick tips and then it starts into your planner. Yep, so it starts into your planner. Okay, so down here, if you wanted to quickly get to any of this, you can, if you wanna quickly get back to your assessment, you can get back to your assessment. 
If you want to look at what your intentions were, you can click on that. You can click on annual goals. You can click on your vision board and that just quickly gets you back and forth. This gets you back to your table of contents and then we're going to click on January. I haven't, um, I actually, I just did a mock-up for you. I haven't done a lot of um, anything on here quite yet. So this, I have my husband's birthday, my son's birthday, and then um, I'm going to put this on here. So I'm going to just kind of show you how I play around on here. So I like to have the middle setting. I'm going to do fun and recreation. So I'm going to go to my presets. I'm going to find this one. And I'm going to put a little something on here for my friend's birthday. So very similar to what I did for my husband and my son. Um, I'm just going to make a little box and write in there. So this little tool over here will help you make a straight box. So I'm just going to... So see how I've just snapped it all together, which is really nice. So now I'm going to write in it. I'm going to hit my pen again. And then I'm going to hit my thinner line. And I'm going to choose black. And then I like to zoom in as much as I can. It allows me to write a lot neater. And you can add a sticker in here, you can draw in here, you can do whatever you want, but that is, that's an easy way. I don't know what color I used here, but it was not that, <laughs> was not that pretty orange. So, oh, I've, you know, I probably used that. I probably used the muted one instead of that one, which is okay. All right, so then you can set anything up in here that you want to have in here. Um, then once you're done, you don't have to have that done right away, but once you're ready to kind of move on. So this, this did get a little bit of a facelift compared to last year. So let me show you January. So January, kind of similar, but it just looks a little bit more bold, like the colors and the lines. Um, one thing that they did change this year is that the tabs, um, or not the tabs, but the background color is going to match the seasons a little bit better. So like when you're in October, it's going to be the color of orange instead of, I think this year it's like green or something. So it's going to just map, 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 blah, match up a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry about that. So then you're going to flip over and you're going to see your January goals. So we are back to the line goals here, which is fine. I do kind of wish that these were dot grid too, but it's okay. Oh, well, that went really quick. Sorry. So here, this is, um, this is your January goals for 2020 or January goals for 2022. And then you flip over and then you're at your first, um, your first set here. So, um, I just did kind of like a mock-up. So usually what I do is I will make, um, a little collage here, um, in my physical planner. I will definitely start to do this in my digital planner where I just have fun with it, get creative, put pictures in there from the, from the month before, and then I go into my week. So that's just for the first week of the month. And then I'll show you what I do for um, intentions. So I'm going to scroll in on this just a little bit. So I just put here some of my goals that I might have. I'll probably delete these once it comes time. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm up to here. But this is how I do it. Um, these boxes are really easy to make. Just kind of like what we just did. Um, I did leave it kind of thin there. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab... Oh, what color did I do? Okay, I think I did this one. And then I'm going to make sure I do that. So it'll make a perfect little square. And then it'll bounce back. And if I want to make those circles, it'll do that, which is kind of nice. Um, and if you back up once, it'll still kind of leave like a little background circle, which is kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you do that. So these are my weekly... Oh, see, I did it again. I'll do that. Tap my little pencil. So that's my weekly actions for the first week. Last week of December slash first week of January. So now I'm going to show you how I set up my week. So this is pretty much how I set up all my weeks when it comes to my planning, um, whether it be digital or like regular paper. So I have uh, the day when I would go to work, my little to-do list area, and this is what I would use for gratitude. So this is kind of nice. You can easily tap on weekly actions to take you back to see, hey, what did I say that I wanted to do this week? Okay, cool. Now I remember I wanted to do that. Okay, let me, I'm going to flip back over. I'm going to get going on this. And then let's say that you're on your weekly actions and you want to go back and see what your January goals were. You can easily go between the tabs here, not flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping, trying to figure out where you're at. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then this is how I have been setting up my weekly reflections lately. 
you can get creative with this. You can make it more pretty. You can make it more simple. It's really up to you, but you'll put what your wins, what worked, what didn't work, your lessons learned, and adjustments needed. So that is just a simple week. I haven't really done much more, but this is dated, which is really nice. You can see what you're going to be doing uh, for which week, so you can have a good idea. So this is pretty much the same. So I'm going to take us all the way over to the January Reflection. So this is pretty similar to last year. I'm going to take us back to January Reflection. So this is it's pretty similar. So this is uh, 2022, and this is uh, 2023. So January was just brought up here instead of it being down there, which is kind of nice. So instead of it saying monthly reflections, it just says January Reflections. And again, the colors are a little bit more bold. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of go through here and show you the different tabs. So like for February, it's now red, whereas last year, February was like this teal color, like the spiritual color. March was green. April was like gray, um, whereas this year, March is green, which makes sense. April is still that same color. May this year is going to be like that gold color. June will be um, that, I think that's a spiritual color. July is um, that blue color. And August is purple. September is, well, I think that's like a light gray. And then October is this, which is really fun. And then we've got November and December. So we're in October right now. So I'm going to show you what my October one looks like for 2023. So I just got started on this, but I am obsessed. So and my son wanted to write his name here. So I thought that was fun. So I've got all the stuff that we have going on for the month of October in here. I am in classes right now for my master's. So I put in the notes what's due every week for these classes, which is really fun, but you can do whatever you want here. But isn't this just so much better? So I love this layout, but it is weird that October is like this teal color when really it should be like this orange color. Uh, all right, and then it's all the same. And so then we're going to go to down in the corner here where it has the next year for you to just kind of see what's going on in the next year. And it has those same color schemes that follow. So let's so it down here. You can go here and see all this um, has the former um, color schemes for the month. So... Anyways, now I'm going to show you really quickly what we can do with those notes. So um, we're going to click on notes over here. And so they've got a bunch of different ones over here. And then if you, so this is one, and then you can flip it over to two. That is um, lined paper. But if you wanted to swap it out, so all these are going to be um, different options here. So, and you can swap them out. So let's go back to one. So you can swap out, you want blank paper? Do you want dot paper? Do you want um, graph paper? Or do you want lined paper? It's got it all right there for you. So that's that's really fun. Um, and then uh, if you have stickers that you wanna continuously use over and over, you can put them here. So that is something new that Moxie Life is going to be having a partnership with a sticker shop that is going to be offering stickers for Moxie Life. So of course you can use other stickers that you download and pay for and you can keep them here. Um, but I just thought that this is a fun little area that they, you know, have you guys keep. So you can either just do your stickers here or you could put the stickers here actually that come with the Moxie Life system. Those come with your downloads so you can put them in here if you wanted. Um, you can use, you know, swap this out for like a blank page and just, or dot grid, whatever, and store your stickers in here so you don't have to go far to look for them. But that's really it. So last, uh, this year, as far as notes went, there was only the blank options. So there was no option for you to have the different tabs up here like there is here to swap through. And I think that that's going to be a game changer for a lot of people. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this analysis. Um, maybe not analysis. I hope you enjoyed this review or comparison and um, to just kind of see what, you know, the different ways that there are to look at the two. They are very similar. Um, but again, just like the regular flagship got an upgrade, so did this one. So I'm super excited to jump in and just kind of get started on everything. I think it's going to be really fun. Let's see. I'll show you a couple layouts that I did this year. 
This is my October layout. I had already done my October goals in the physical planner, so I haven't brought those over yet. This is another fun way to do, to make your weekly actions pretty. I do very similar style here that I showed you. Um, I'm all about this. This is just easy for me. And then this is how I can track my habits. I can just, um, so I really like that color. So I'm just going to choose that one. a little bit thicker of a line. Nope. Oh, now I forget how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just... I don't really remember how I got that perfect dot. I'm sorry. But anyway, so this is the habits. This is an area you can easily, or if you wanted to, you could just... Copy and paste it and get it in. Oh. Just get it in there just the way you want. And there's that. So I didn't finish that habit, so I'm not going to do that. But so let's go over to, um, I don't think I've, I haven't set anything up in the 2023. So let's just, so we're still in 2020, ah, 2022. So let's see. I did my weekly reflections. I did my weekly actions. And then let's just say that I want to carry this over um, to the next week. So one thing that you can do is you can use this tool here. And you can literally grab everything that you have here so you don't have to write it again. So I'm going to copy. Oh. Um, and then I'm going to... Paste. Oh, you know what, though? I have to delete this. I wasn't thinking about that. I had already copy and pasted that everywhere. So. so there's that. So you can go in and... Oops, sorry. I hit that. Um, so there we go. And now my stuff is... I mean, I can align that probably a little bit better. But now my stuff is ready to go for the next week and I really don't even have to give it much thought um, because everything's already plugged in. And then I can go back through and I can, you know, I don't have to do a pre-op this week because I already had my operation last week. Not a lot of this is going to be the same. Awana will be the same. My family friends are not in town. Um, let's see, I still, still have discipleship. I won't be working from home, so one thing I could do here is I could just erase, the, erase this. And then, oh well, yeah, I'm not going to be having surgery either. That was last week. So then I can just come over here and get my little grabby tool. Copy. Paste. And that way I don't have to redo this every single time, which is really nice. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. Um, I don't know all the things about it, about digital planning, but I am learning and we can learn together. So if you have any tips or tricks you want to even send me, I would be definitely loving any tips you have. So I'm going to uh, wrap that up here. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, if you were inspired in any way by this and you'd like to use my link, uh, there will be an affiliate link in the description box here on my YouTube channel. And feel free to connect with me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. And I look forward to interacting with you guys. All right, have a good one.